The agency also raised the alarm over the nationwide proliferation of unapproved herbal products, which it describes as dangerous, as they vowed to commence a nationwide clampdown on the manufacturers and traders who sold such uncertified products. Now, Chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Buba Marwa, says 5,147 drug offenders have been successfully prosecuted and convicted in the past two and a half years. Marwa made this known at a press conference where he announced the flag off of a week-long activity in commemoration of the 2023 World Drug Day, which will help mobilize resources, align policies and inspire organizations to effectively tackle the challenges of illicit substances in the society. Malik Iduru has more. At a press briefing to mark 2023 International World Drug Day, Mawa, who was represented by the secretary of the agency, Shadrach Havana, said over 11,000 cases are still pending in court, while 23,725 drug users have been counseled and rehabilitated through many interventions. As drug survey research by the UN indicates that 14.3 million people use drugs, and one in every five persons who had use drug in the past is suffering from drug user disorder. In the past two years and a half years, in the past two and a half years, we have strengthened our law enforcement capabilities to cut down on drugs on supply of drugs in, in society. In 29 months, we have arrested 31,675 drug offenders, including 35 barons. We have successfully prosecuted and convicted 5,147 of them and over 11,000 other cases still pending in court nationwide. Speaking further, Mawa charged the citizens to desist from stigmatization as it discourages drug users from seeking treatment, making recovery and reintegration difficult for drug dependent users who submit themselves to treatment. 852 Point one forty two hectares of cannabis farm and dismantled three clandestine methamphetamine laboratories. I can assure you that even as we speak, NDL agents are busy with interdiction activities somewhere. However, drug supply reduction is only one of the components of the equation. Another crucial component is drug demand reduction, which operationally means prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Country representatives of United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, Oliver Slope, commended the agency for the sources recorded so far, recorded in the fight against substance abuse and illicit drug trafficking in the country. He, however, said there is need to further improve the availability of treatment capacity for drug users. At the last count, we had around 2,500 uh, treatment beds, treatment places for people um, suffering from severe drug use disorders and therefore requiring medical intervention. That in comparison to the numbers which are in the millions of people living with a drug use disorder in Nigeria is still far too little. We need also to urgently make sure that we're repeating together with the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics the um, drug use survey. You will recall in 2018, the very first drug use survey was conducted in Nigeria and it completely changed the way in which drug use and drug control was perceived by government and by the people of Nigeria. The CS team, People First, Stop Stigma and Discrimination, Threaten Prevention is in furtherance of the whole of society approach to taming the drug scotch.